Today's video is an inspiration type of video. I'll show you two ways to organize the same information. I've used both. And this is a good uh, opportunity to talk about how I approach organization. Organization has to serve me, not the other way around. I used to be, a long time ago, I used to be one of those people who keeps organizing everything, keeps making things beautiful. And in my opinion, that's a huge waste of time. Today, I leave everything as is until I see some friction. And when I see this friction, when I feel it, when, it, when things are kind of not working well, the gears are not connecting to each other. Imagine uh, an old watch needing service. <laughs> that's when I jump in and tweak things a little bit to make the gears connect to each other. And I usually, I, I, don't, I don't get it right at the first attempt. It takes me two or three attempts to remove that friction. Okay, let's take a look at it. If we go to my documents, note, pinned at home and click here, car, I have the license plate and some tasks. And for those of you who are new here, <laughs> don't worry, this is not my real license plate. This is not my real account. This account is the one I use to record these videos. Now, if we go back to home and check my dog's uh, note, caffeine's routines, you see that they are kind of similar. The difference here is that I have this timeline and below that I have some uh, tasks. This is what I changed on my Rio account. Uh, a while ago, I added this timeline to the car. No, let's go back to that. Uh, here's a tip. You can go back uh, using this arrows here as if you were surfing online. Do people still say that? Surfing online? Oh, I'm so old. <laughs> so if we go to uh, all nodes here and search for the license plate, there is a tag, A, B, 1, 2, C, D. So these are all the nodes that have something to do with the car. So this is the main car node. And then we have here taxes, inspection, and all the documents. This is how I do it, okay? But uh, I wanted to have this timeline for one reason. My car is getting a little old and I'm feeling that uh, I'm spending too much money. So I wanted to create this timeline to see how many times I, I, I brought it to the mechanic. So I started adding this, for example, here's repair. So I started doing something like this. And as you can see, I have the date here in this invoice. This is how I save my real invoices, but if you, don't do that. You can go to note info and you know when that note was created. So that will give you a, a good idea. Okay. So this will give me a sense of how many times I'm bringing my car to the mechanic. Now here, there are two possible options. Tax here, pay tax. I used to do something like this, but as you can imagine, each year, each new note, each new task would add to that list. And I don't need that information. And the irony is that I moved to this uh, new system because the other one was also kind of useless. So let me show you what, how it was in the past before this. It was even more complex. I would have uh, the car node and links to other nodes, this, this, and this, which are in essence, the same thing as before, but three different nodes. So I would have this, if I needed to check this, I would go to that. I never needed to do something like this, navigate to an insurer's an inspection document, N never. So this doesn't make any sense. There's also this task here that I forgot to add to the other note. It's the uh, check oil task. It's a monthly task. And I, here I have the last time I changed the oil, the mileage, uh, kilometers. And talking about making the system work for us, if you are a supporter on Patreon or YouTube, there is a little gift for you, a video showing my progress on my camper van notebook. And if you are not a supporter and you like what I do here, please consider uh, becoming a Patreon or YouTube. 
uh, supporter. It helps a lot. Another thing I experimented with was not creating uh, the note for each invoice. Uh, I tried just adding the PDFs uh, below uh, the, the task, the insurance task in the main note or in a separate note below. Instead of adding the notes, I would add the PDF. But I noticed that it was creating more friction because I, it's easier to just create a note. Evernote is like this. It's easier to create a note and add a PDF, especially if you are doing it on your mobile phone or a tablet. It's much easier to just create a note. And if I'm scanning it, because sometimes they don't email you the invoice, it's much easier to just scan it into a note. So that's why, uh, as you can see, I'm always trying to remove friction. It has to work well everywhere, here in the desktop, on my mobile phone. So I keep tweaking the system. So let's take a look at how it is today. The timeline contains links to the notes that I actually need, only the ones I need. Uh, I, I don't need to check uh, the, in the, the invoice for the last time I pay a tax or the car inspection or anything like that. I never needed that. I, I keep those notes um, uh, to give me peace of mind. Uh, I, I never needed them, so I, I don't need to link them here. But like I said, I, I wanted to keep track of what's going on with the car. So I, I want to take a look, maybe take a look at the last oil, the last time I changed the oil, how much it was, what was changed. The same is true for repair. So these are the only notes I'm keeping here. Now, before the timeline, because I only had uh, payments here, this note was in the payments notebook. That being said, it doesn't make sense to keep it in the payments notebook anymore because there's more to it. And to be honest, I'm trying to eliminate that payments notebook. So I'm really glad that I can, that it makes sense to move this to another notebook. So what I'm doing is moving it to the family notebook where all the other documents are like, and also my dog's uh, routines note is also there. As for the other notes, they were always, so let's go back to the everywhere. Let's go back to the plate, the license plate. So all of this with the exception of the, the main note, they are all in the timeline because again, this is in the past, and if I need to filter, uh, see all of them, it's just a matter of using the license plate. As you already know, I always like to have multiple ways to get to the same information. So this is the final touch here. In the family notebook, I can now pin this note, pin to notebook. So I can either go to the family notebook and find the most important notes at the top of the list, or let's say I'm here using every note home, I can just scroll down and go to the car note. And if I use the license plate tag, I have access to all the documents related to the car. Okay, the tip here is keep listening to your needs. If you perceive friction, make, try to make the system work for you. Tweak things in order to make the system work for you. You're not going to get it right when you try it, the first time you try it. It's not, it's, <laughs> it's really rare that I do. So don't, don't worry about that. Keep trying. Some, some of my changes, they take days, weeks, and depending on what it is, it, it sometimes takes months. But I'm, constantly listening to my needs. When, when, when something is not right, I have to make it right. And since we are talking about this, here's a, let's call it a disclaimer. <laughs> Many of the, uh, the ideas that I show here, they, they will not work for you. For example, the last video when I talked about how I love the, the home widget, uh, the tasks home widget, many of you uh, wrote that you don't like it for some reason. In my case, it's a perfect widget because that's the way I use tasks. All my tasks have date and dates, and all I want to see are the, the next two, three, four upcoming tasks. I don't want to see all that information in, inside the, the tasks uh, big window. So my idea with this video is, is more, uh, it, it's to inspire you to work on the system, try to make the work 
try to make the system work for you. So keep listening to the system and make the necessary changes and be patient. You'll, you'll get there. Oh, and remember, sometimes uh, changes will not work on both the mobile and the desktop clients. So you also have to find a way to make the, the tweak work on both clients. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here in the channel, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Thanks for watching. See you soon.